Welcome back to Legal Gangsta Network. Today's video is crucial for both Texas citizens and law enforcement officers as we discuss an important question. Can a cop force you to wait for a K-9 search if you deny permission to search your vehicle? This situation often happens in Texas traffic stops, so it's vital to understand your rights and the legal limitations for officers. Let's break it down from both sides and cover what Texas residents and officers need to know. Imagine you're driving down a Texas highway, get pulled over for a minor traffic violation, and then the officer asks to search your vehicle. You exercise your legal right and politely say, no. But then the officer calls in a K-9 unit. Are you now required to wait indefinitely? For Texas citizens, it's crucial to know your rights in this situation. And for Texas law enforcement, understanding what is allowed can help ensure stops are conducted within legal bounds. In Texas, as across the United States, the Fourth Amendment protects you against unreasonable searches and seizures. Refusing a search doesn't mean you're admitting guilt, rather, it's simply exercising your right. When you refuse, an officer can't search without either your consent or what's called probable cause. However, if the officer develops reasonable suspicion of additional criminal activity, they may request a K-9 unit to conduct a sniff around the vehicle's exterior. A key case to understand here is Rodriguez v. United States, 2015. In this case, the United States Supreme Court ruled that officers cannot prolong a traffic stop beyond the time necessary to handle the purpose of the stop, such as issuing a warning or a ticket, unless they have reasonable suspicion of additional criminal activity. For Texas officers, this means they must act within the confines of this ruling, ensuring any extension of the stop is based on reasonable suspicion. Without this, detaining a person just to wait for a K-9 unit could be considered a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Now what exactly is reasonable suspicion? In Texas, reasonable suspicion must be based on specific, articulable facts that would make a reasonable officer believe that criminal activity may be taking place. This can include behaviors like extreme nervousness, inconsistencies in responses, or visible illegal items. However, reasonable suspicion isn't the same as probable cause. It's a lower standard but still requires a factual basis. For citizens, it's important to understand that refusal alone does not constitute reasonable suspicion. So if there's no evidence beyond your refusal, a lengthy detention may not be justified. In Texas, a reasonable wait time for a K-9 unit is often seen as around 15 to 20 minutes but this can vary depending on the circumstances. For example, in a rural area where resources are limited, a slightly longer wait may be justified. However, Texas courts have shown that without additional evidence, anything exceeding 20 to 30 minutes could be seen as a violation of your rights. Texas officers should document any justifying factors to avoid overstepping legal limits. For Texas citizens, if the officer informs you that a K-9 unit has been called, the best approach is to remain calm and respectful. Avoid giving the officer any reason to interpret your behavior as suspicious and don't offer consent for a search. You might also ask, am I free to go? This can serve as a respectful reminder of your awareness of the legal time frame for a detention. For Texas law enforcement officers, staying within the legal bounds of detention time is crucial. Documenting observations that led to reasonable suspicion before calling a K-9 unit is important. Additionally, it's best to stay within reasonable time limits, avoiding any perception of prolonged detainment. Properly handling stops with respect for citizens' rights builds community trust and minimizes risks of legal challenges. Let's go through a few hypothetical examples to make this clear. Scenario 1. If a driver in Houston is pulled over for speeding, refuses a search, and there's no visible evidence of crime, officers may not be able to hold them longer than it takes to issue a ticket. Scenario 2. In contrast, if the officer smells marijuana or sees drug paraphernalia in plain view, they can call a K-9 and justify a slightly longer detention due to reasonable suspicion. These scenarios show that every case has unique details that both citizens and officers should consider. Let's summarize. Texas citizens, you have the right to refuse a vehicle search, and a K-9 unit can only be called if there's reasonable suspicion. Texas officers, remember to act within the confines of the law and avoid extended detentions without legal grounds. 
Respecting these rights and procedures benefits both citizens and law enforcement, creating a fairer and more transparent justice system. Thank you for tuning in. If this video helped clarify your rights and responsibilities, please like, subscribe, and share with others. Here at Legal Gangsta Network, we're committed to helping Texas residents and officers understand and respect the laws that guide us all. Until next time, stay informed, stay empowered, Texas! This content is for informational purposes and not a substitute for legal advice. Consult a legal professional for specific legal concerns.